Designing impellers can be a bit of a balancing act, whether it's for industrial, energy, automotive, or aerospace applications, getting results like fuel savings, reduced material usage, or better fluid management requires an impeller design that is as light as possible without sacrificing performance while extending the overall system's operational life. With the help of NTOP, with topology optimization, variable shelling, and latticing can help you lightweight your impeller designs with the help of additive manufacturing. Hello everyone, Yuki from NTOP, and today I'll be taking an impeller and combining three different lightweight techniques, topology optimization, variable shelling, and latticing, which will then be combined at the end to design a lightweight impeller. Let's dive right in. First, I imported my closed impeller and converted it to an implicit. With my geometry converted to NTOP's native format, I can start lightweighting my impeller. Starting with topology optimization, I meshed apart, added boundary conditions and constraints, and ran the top op. Once that's complete, I can pull up my raw results and use the slider to visualize the results. Then I can convert my results by identifying the threshold and iteration I want to use and lastly, I can smoothen it to get my final topology optimized part. Now moving on to my second technique, shelling. Before running the shelling operation of the original impeller, I quickly ran a static analysis. In NTOP, you can use simulation data to drive certain parameters, such as the thickness of the shell or even the lattice thickness. With my static analysis, I converted the von Mises stress results into a field. Using the shell block, I input the body that I want to shell, in this case the impeller, and for the shell thickness, I can use this ramp block which allows me to input a field, in this case the stress field, and drive my shell thickness based on it. I can give a condition where I want my shell thickness to be thicker in those higher stress regions and thinner in those lower stress regions. With the input of my shell block complete, I can get a shell driven by the stress from my static analysis. Now lastly, I want to infill those open spaces of my impeller with lattices. To generate my design space, I can boolean union the topology optimized part and the variably shelled part and boolean subtract from the original impeller. Now I can use this design space to infill my lattices, and there are three ways I can do that in NTOP, rectangularly, cylindrically, or spherically. I will fill the space cylindrically because in a recent study published in Nature showed that the stress distribution in a cylindrically infilled lattices in an impeller has better strength than a rectangular infill. Once I infill the design space with lattices cylindrically, I can play around with the cell radius, height, and arc count to fill in my impeller. For the thickness of the lattices, I can reuse the simulation I ran earlier and use the stress results to drive my lattice thickness. I can thicken the lattices in those higher stress regions and keep the lattices thinner in the low stress regions. Now with my topology optimization, variable shelling, and latticing complete, I can boolean union the results to get my final part. Lightweighting the impeller, I was able to reduce around 23% of the weight from the original impeller. This can help to extend the overall system's operational life and improve reliability. Now before I export this to manufacture, since I designed this with the intention of 3D printing it, I can make the part transparent and find pockets that require depowdering and create holes to ensure the print comes out clean. I can then mesh and export my part or export it as a dot implicit without meshing my part and import it to a software that currently supports implicit interop to manufacture my part. With NTOP, we have multiple light weighting techniques you can use. Today, I showed you topology optimization, variable shelling, and latticing. Not only can you take advantage of these techniques, but with the power of implicit modeling, I can easily go back into our workflow, change up a couple of parameters, and quickly get a whole new design iteration of my part. I hope you got a good understanding of how you can apply lightweight techniques to something like an impeller. Thank you, and I hope you learned something new today. If a process like this would help improve your design workflow, request a demo and talk to an NTOP expert. If you want a real world example of an impeller lightweighting, check out how Warstella optimizes industrial impellers for additive manufacturing. Using NTOP, they were able to reduce the weight of their design by 44%. I linked the article below. Lastly, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, go to NTOP.com under resources and videos. Check out our videos here. Thank you.